Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Trophynet and welcome back to Bloodborne The Old Hunters. Uh, we're still standing right in front of the Astral Clock Tower, ready to probably face Lady Maria, and I'm a bit scared. I've been a bit prepared, but this is actually two boss battles in a row, so... If this is a boss battle after all, so here we go. I think. The dust and the light beneath these floors are a bit unsettling. Ooh, she doesn't look good. She tried something. She's leaking a bit. Okay. Hello. Are you a blood saint as well? Uh, is there anything here? It seems to be a coffin of some kind. Can I read what's on there? Nope. Doesn't seem to be readable. Anything else here? Can destroy that. Yay! Destroying scenery! Okay. Well, enough fun. This guy's fighting, so I suppose... This is gonna suck! I'm gonna take the, the Mercy Blade, the Blades of Mercy. Hello. Are you okay? Oh, yeah. Uh, should be left well alone. You're in my bubble. That brooch. Okay. Oh, I know very well how the secrets beckon so sweetly. Ooh, what the fuck are you carrying? Only an honest man will kill you now. Oh. Awesome! Okay. And how awesome is she? Okay. I'm gonna need a bit more range. Let's switch that out. Oh, wow! Okay. Okay. Ah, okay. She homes in quite a lot, actually. So, she was bleeding, so I'm gonna suppose she's done some experiments of her own, I guess? Leading to some, uh... What does it mean? It's all thanks to kill first. Ah. So you would attack her before initiating the cutscene. Could have done that. I'm a bit more honorful. Backstab isn't too hard either. Oh, what's she doing now? She's stabbing herself. That's not good. Their swords are double as long. Oh wow! Okay. Ho 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 ho! Fucking bullshit. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. 
second one. Oh, fuck. Okay, that does do damage. Oh, what the fuck is happening now? Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. I've got this, I've got this. Dodging to her left always seems to work, even in the later stages. And try to match your dodging with hers. Or you get stuff like that. Oh, okay, that does have a range. Okay. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Shit, shit, shit. soon. Ok, 
Okay, for the heal. Yes! There she goes! <sighs> and again the heart goes boom, boom, boom. Ooh. Damn. Okay, she's down. So, it's pretty doable. You can pretty much dodge any attack she does by going by dodging to the left and behind her. Dodging like that. And well, try to dodge when she does. Attack with quick dodge attacks. And you should make it out. Took me roughly half an hour, but. Whew! Nice fight. Celestial dial. Then I first activate the lamp just in case. Not that there's not a lamp right outside there, but hey. Uh, celestial dial. Dial for the great astral clock of the Grand Cathedral. A celestial dial that functions with the giant astral clock in the Grand Cathedral. When the dial is held up towards the astral clock, the clock will come to life and reveal a secret to its curious interloper. Okay. Sounds interesting, I suppose. I'm gonna just accept my uh, spot here. Not that it has anything, but hey. Hold up. Okay, am I gonna die when I do that? Here we go. All or nothing. Here you go. The bells are ringing. The thing is moving. Now what is it doing? Oh! Did that just change into a door? Okay. Hmm... I still don't trust this! I'm innocent of joy. <laughs> Take a step forward. Um, okay then. Wait, what? We're super high up. How, how is there... What? Oh. And that freaky moon is still there. I see now that that's the moon and not this thing. Okay then. Was this a mistake? Probably, because I can't go back to spend my blood echoes. Oh, that's 
the edge, so I will be falling down if I go down there. Okay. Looks pretty straightforward. So there's Is that What the fuck? Pirate ships and um well, well this makes it out to be like that city that we went through before is now underwater. The fuck? Okay then, we found Atlantis. Does anything happen if I disturb those? Okay, there's a little boat out in the water as well, but I can't get to it, I think. Hmm. There's something walking over there. They're not just rocks, they're actually seashells. We were talking about Bergen first. Mercy for the child and mother cause. So cause we know cause is the cosmos, the thing that they're revering. Okay, can I the poor wizened child. Wait, is there a child of the cosmos here? Is that an enemy? You talk? For the wretches. Lay the curse of blood upon them and their children and their children's children forevermore. Each wretched birth will plunge each child into a lifetime of misery. Okay then. Great. So there's dead people on the boats. Are you okay? Yeah, yeah, burning. What is this a skeleton of? It's like a bird. Hmm. These statues again. I'm gonna light the place up a bit so I can see where the floor stops. Okay. So we suddenly ended up in Pirates of the Caribbean, Fishing Hamlet. Oh, that was a lot of insight. I'm gonna have to spam that again. Another one of those skeletons. Oh, a lamp! A lamp, a lamp, a lamp, a lamp, a lamp. And a creepy dead guy. So, yeah, I'm gonna take a break. So, thank you guys for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video. Because I need a little break after Lady Maria. So, hope to see you soon. Goodbye.